So now we are going to discuss the different positions in which we can actually write triads. So first of all, we look at root position. So root position is when the root of your triad is the lowest note of your triad. So it's in root position because the root is the lowest note. Now, um, I'm just going to share something with you because you might come across it whenever you're looking at, at figuring. And that is sometimes you will see that there's a 5-3 indicated next to the, the chord. And that basically just stands for the intervals above the bass note. So if you look at this, you have your root and then we have the interval of a third above it and the interval of a fifth above it. Okay. And um, like when back in the days when I was doing grade one theory, we actually had to indicate it like this, but nowadays we don't need to indicate it like this anymore. But I just thought, let me share it with you that you actually understand how figuring works. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter if, if we look at this triad, the triad is G, B, D. Now we can shuffle the notes around and that's just going to change the position of the triad. It's not going to change the actual triad. And the reason why I say this is because I've seen it so often that this is where you guys actually get confused. Okay, so let's see what happens if we, instead of having the G there, we move it up. So we have G, B, D. So the notes that I have is still G, B, D. It's still my tonic triad. However, the position just changed. We have a different note now in the bass. So whenever the third is the lowest note of the triad, then we say it is first inversion. Okay, so whenever the third of the triad is in the bass, the lowest note, then it is going to be in first inversion. And the way we indicate it is like this. So the 6 basically stands for the interval of a 6 above the bass. And it doesn't matter whether it's a compound 6, you're still just going to write 6. And then again, back in the days, we also used to actually indicate the interval of a 3rd. But like with root position, it fell away. But when you look at your older... Um, prints of music then you might actually still see it and then you know for what it stands so um, yeah we're not indicating it anymore sorry for my finger and then if we put the fifth of the triad in the base so you've got say for example um, I'm going to do it here G B D we say it's in second inversion and we figure it like this okay and uh, based on what i just told you we've got the interval of a fourth and we've got the interval of a six and just especially for you guys if you're going to study music we always write the the highest number at the top and then the lowest number or in that order so from the highest to the lowest okay so root position indicated like this and then first inversion indicated like this, and then second in, uh, inversion indicated by means of a 6-4. So you'll see that it's still, this, the, the, it's still G, B, D, just in a different order. So it doesn't mean now, because the D is the lowest note, that it's actually going to be, um, if we're in G major, our dominant triad. Okay, because the dominant triad, yes, the root of the dominant, dominant triad is D, but the dominant triad is D, F sharp, A, in, in, um, in uh, G major. Okay, so we're not changing the triad, it's just the, the order and which one of the, the triad notes um, are in the bass that's going to influence the chord position, or the triad position in this case. 
Okay, and then um, just one final thing, and that is when we look at our at the different way of figuring, and that is to to actually indicate it by means of letters our chord position. So one would just remain one, but then we can also replace the six with a B. So you just superscribe the a, a B instead of the six. And instead of having a 164, you can also superscribe a C to indicate second inversion. You can do it like that. It's absolutely correct. I just prefer using numbers because I feel it actually means something. You know, I can see that it, it, uh, it indicates the interval of a fourth and a sixth above the base. But if you want to use this method, by all means do it. But again, be consistent. You're either going to stick with numbers or you are going to use letters. And um, when it gets to using chord symbols, like I said in my previous uh, video clip, chord symbols are always indicated above your staff or above the, um, the music. <clears throat> so um, if I had to to indicate these by means of chord symbols because my root is G this is just going to be G and then what we do when it gets to first inversion it's still my G chord but now we look at which chord note is the lowest note and that is B and then we're just going to write it like this so it's a G chord with a B bass okay Especially for the classical musicians, it doesn't mean G or B. Okay, and then if we look at this, so the chord is still G, but now the bass note is D. And then just one final thing that I want to um, just uh, uh, maybe make you aware of. So often when um, you write a trite, especially if it's say in, in second inversion, what I want you to do is still right to try it in the actual order um, of the note so g b d so i don't know if you noticed when i wrote this try it in second inversion i wrote g b d i didn't write d and then g and then b and the reason for that is just to eliminate a, a, a small area your, that that happens in your brain and that is that it, it jumps to D as the bass note and suddenly you find yourself writing D F sharp A. Okay, so no matter what the, 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 the position is of the triad, you always start by writing the root first. Okay, so that's just a way to eliminate unnecessary mistakes. And um, yeah, that's basically then the different triad positions that we get.